you don't have to look any further of one of the best lattes that you might have. This maple bourbon latte is just so good with this easy homemade maple bourbon syrup, steamed froth milk and strong brewed coffee. You don't have an espresso machine, don't worry about it at all. We're gonna do it without it and it's gonna be amazing. So while you're clicking the links down below to check out all the numbers, let me tell you how to make this maple bourbon sauce. And we're gonna start by pouring in our bourbon here. Now bourbon is just a type of whiskey. I'm not a connoisseur when it comes to bourbon or whiskey. I just got the best looking bottle that was not that expensive to make this drink. So I'm gonna put that into my saucepan and just let that come up to a simmer and then we'll simmer that, reduce it for about four to five minutes, at which point you will have a crazy aroma of whiskey all over the house. Don't worry, it doesn't linger, but if you sniff it, that's gonna get to you. Then you go ahead and add in your maple syrup. Now what I'm using is a bourbon flavored maple syrup. Basically the maple syrup was, was made in barrels that used to contain bourbon. So that flavor is all inside the maple syrup. And I would urge all of you to look for grade A maple syrup, which basically means that it's 100% maple. I'm also gonna add in some vanilla extract and just continue to simmer this for one to two minutes until you get a nice and thick syrup. Now give this a taste. You should not be expecting super strong notes of bourbon, but it should not be absent either. You want subtle bourbon, lots of maple, and if you get that and consistency that's similar to what I'm showing you over here, you are golden. So go ahead and focus on your espresso. If you have that, go ahead and prepare a strong shot. While those of us who don't have it, let me tell you the best hack to make a great brewed coffee for this latte. I'm gonna use a French press and the French press is perfect for just getting that perfect strong coffee because you're letting those coffee grains really steep in that hot water so that flavor is really concentrated. While that is working, I'm gonna bring some milk up to a steam. You don't want that to boil at all. And once it is out of steam, you wanna go ahead and add in your maple bourbon syrup, which we just created into this. Now, I'm gonna add about two, three tablespoons per person, but it really depends on how sweet you like your latte. Make sure to give it a taste and adjust as needed, and then grab your frother, or if you're handy, grab a whisk, and then froth up that steamed milk, which now has a maple bourbon twist into it. The coffee is ready. I've let the coffee sit for about four minutes. I'm gonna push that plunger down, pour this into our glasses, our latte cups, and then add in that steamed milk. And you can see how well the frother worked because you get that classic latte froth. Now, there is a big difference between a latte and a cappuccino, and I've talked all about that in my recipe that's linked down below. I'm not gonna spoil it, but the difference basically lies in how the different liquids, the coffee, the milk, interact with each other in these two types of coffee drinks. So I know some of you are gonna make this with me, and if you are at this stage where you have your drink ready, then take a sip. That's good. So hit the like button and share it with somebody who loves coffee and would like an adult version of their favorite latte.